All right, so we are back from spring break. We have a few more weeks left before the end of the semester, and this week we're going to be talking about a combination of sleep and sleep deprivation, as well as problem solving, decision making, and then intelligence. So I move into the folder here. Uh, the reading guide is uh, hopefully going to help streamline the reading. There is a fair amount of text to get through uh, with these two topics right here, but do be mindful of the fact that the page numbers mean you're only reading a portion of the cognition chapter and not all of them. In terms of the web links that we have, we're back with Hank and his crash course on cognition. Then we'll turn to 60 minutes and have a discussion on sleep, why sleep is important to us and how sleep deprivation impacts us. And then I've also provided this reading right here. You're not expected to read all of this Scientific American article, though I think it's quite good. Um, you are expected to read enough to be able to compose a thoughtful journal entry. So speaking of what you have to do for this week for your graded activities, we have uh, two required options and then an extra credit that is available this week and next week. So if we go in here, um, you'll be doing some more work with your group to create a Google Slides presentation. Um, it's a combination of two things. One, you will be contributing to the actual presentation, and then you are also going to be writing a multiple choice test question. Uh, related to that topic. So in order to learn a little bit more about what the assignment is, what available topics you have, you have this PDF document right here. And so I have eight different available topics that correspond to what shows up on the Google Slides. You will select one of them and then you are expected to provide a link to some resource. It might be a website or it might be a video. Either way it needs to be fairly easy for um, a student to get through, so no scholarly journal articles, keep the, the video short if you choose to go with a video. You're also expected to provide an informative image, so not just something that's a pretty picture, but maybe an infographic or some type of image that includes information. And then finally, I have for each of these topics uh, a set of questions that you need to answer. And those questions may ask you to reflect on information from the textbook, may ask you to reflect on information in the resource that you found. Um, so to access that, what you'll do is click on the title right there and then get to your group. And then you've done this before. You'll go to Group Tasks. And then from Group Tasks, of course, you'll go to Week 11. And then you have two things. This is that PDF assignment that I just showed you. And then to link to the slides presentation, you will click there. It's a pretty bare bones slide presentation with a slide for each of the available topics. So you'll just select, this is in the same order that it was in the assignment. You'll indicate um, if you are reserving something. And then if you want to add a resource, I have instructions there, but you would highlight this area, right click, click on link, and then you would paste in whatever um, website or video link you wanted to use and then click apply. And so that's a good way to get the link in there. If you are finding that this area right here with text is just getting way too crowded, then please create a new slide, title it with the same title, and indicate on this first slide that the information is continued into the, the next slide. Certainly you should be expect you should be able to fit all the information onto this one slide, but you know some folks are more wordy than others. Some folks include more information than others. You're certainly able to create additional ones if you want. Once you have completed your slide, you will write a test question. So to do that, you will click on this Google Doc, and I've already provided a sample question, and so you would just go ahead and enter um, enter here and create a number two item, write in your test question, indicate your name, put the answers, um, available answers, and then at the very end you will write in the correct answer. So hopefully this can be a nice little review document for people uh, to review this topic. All right, so the second graded activity that you'll be doing for this week is to enter in a journal reflection. Um, what you'll be doing here is basically it needs to be about half page, single spaced in Word, or if you prefer to have given you a recommended word count. And within that amount, you will be analyzing why this relationship exists between a family's level of wealth, their socioeconomic status, 
and their child's achievement and their intelligence. And so to help you with that, um, you can use your textbook or you can use the Scientific American article that I've provided to you. The Scientific American article is divided into a couple sections. One is titled Family Investment Theories. Another section is titled Stress Theories. Um, you can find related issues in your textbook as well. But this article does a really nice job of going beyond some of the more obvious explanations for the link um, to things that probably actually have more power, such as families being really stressed or um, differences in prenatal care or differences in health care, differences in sickness and wellness, um, things that we may not think about that really play a big role in explaining the link between the family's wealth and their children's achievement. So to contribute a journal, and all assignments are due at the end of this week, there's no midweek assignment, you would click here and then create a journal entry and give it whatever title you want. And ideally, you should be pasting in something that you already wrote in Word and have proofread. Once it's pasted in, be sure you click Post Entry. If you just save the entry as draft, you'll be able to see it, but I will not. The last thing that I will speak to is the extra credit assignment that's available both this week and next week. And this is an all-class discussion board, and it is explaining um, why we tend to persist in believing in false ideas. So the one that I'll ask you to think about in particular is the full moon effect, um, which is, of course, the idea that people's behavior changes around the full moon, um, in particular, that more babies are born on the full moon or more emergency room visits happen. Um, several research studies, really large, well-done research studies, have completely debunked this myth, and there's a link here uh, to one such study. And what your discussion board post will focus on, and this is an all-class discussion, not just your group. So what you will focus on then is why people persist in believing in this, all right? You need to be focusing on cognitive biases. Um, might be something like belief perseverance, confirmation bias, framing effects, availability bias, um, something like that. So you can earn up to six points for providing a post, up to four points for providing a response. You don't have to post in order to respond, um, but you will have until next Wednesday, so a week and a half basically, to create a post, and then you'll have until the end of the following week. Um, so basically two weeks from today, which is March 26th, um, to actually respond. And I will be going in periodically and offering some feedback. All right, so that is it for this week. Um, as always, if you have questions or concerns or you need a little bit of additional guidance, um, absolutely send me an email, and I look forward to seeing your contributions. Have a great week.